Hey, 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 Aquarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, June 26th. June 26th. I don't know why I said June 26th. July 16th um, to the 17th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. Well, that's weird. June 26th. Okay, this is for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions information can be found in the description box below i'm going to get a channel to message for you in one second okay we've got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck the seven of cups the two of swords the sun the king of swords Okay, let's get this um, message from Spirit for you, Aquarius. I, they keep saying leveraging, but that's all they're saying, leveraging. Can you be more specific? Leveraging your talents? Okay, there's something that's specific to you, Aquarius, that, that you do very well. And I'm feeling in relation to career, you need to use this to leverage because it's it's like nobody else can match you they're saying they can't they can't do it the way that you can you know it's like you know you have how many surgeons out there but they all operate differently and people prefer certain ones over others uh, and that that's just goes for doctors but mechanics the same way um, so anything so I feel like whatever it is that you do you you've got a, a talent for it in the way that in which you do it you can you can use that for leverage in something regarding career whether that be a promotion something along those lines possibly Okay. Oops. So, yeah, with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I'm really feeling that. So think about, and, and I feel like whatever it is, you take this for granted. It's something like, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. Like, no big deal. You don't realize that you're good at it and you, you put a unique spin on it. Hmm. Yeah. And it, it, it's like you're blinded by this. With this Two of Swords, I feel like this is what you're blinded by. So you need to use your intuition and really think about that because this is going to lead you to happiness. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's going to take you down a different road. Believe it or not. And it's something... Okay, they just said childhood dream. I'm getting that with the Seven of Cups. Think about what you wished for as a child. And when you use this as leverage, okay, bring the King of Swords out here. That's you. It's usually Libra for me, but it is an ear. You know, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
So this is sort of that business hat. This is the diplomat. This is the business dude or dudette, right? Doesn't matter if you're male or female. So yeah, clarifying the King of Swords is the Six of Wands. You're, if you realize that you can use this as leverage, like it's a done deal as far as business is concerned. So set your sights high. Um, if this is uh, like an interview or something, if this is, that's interesting because Libra got career stuff too. So if this is an interview, use, there's something you can use as leverage. If it's a promotion, the same thing. You're going to have clarity and truth as to what this childhood dream um, was, okay? Spend a little bit of time meditating and connecting to your intuition because I feel like that's when that clarity and truth is going to come out. So the Two of Swords is clarified. Yeah, look at this, the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. There's that childhood dream again. But this is... Uh, this is past life. This is soulmate from a past life. But I feel like this is something from, this has to do with something from childhood that you absolutely love and that has always been a dream. But I'm not too sure that you, you quite thought that it would become a reality. I think it just sort of, you just let it go. Like, oh yeah, that was my dream once. It's not that you didn't believe it was possible. It's just that, you know, life takes you in a different direction. And you're not seeing that it's possible right now. So you have to listen to your intuition. I do feel this is also going to lead to love. Because by doing this, it's going to lead to, to, to your dream as far as career is concerned. And it's, it's going to allow you to open up and drop walls that you have um, set in place. And I'm hearing for you, 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 you know, nearly your entire life, you've had this wall up. Queen of Pentacles. This is clarifying the sun. Yeah, it's whatever this is, it's something that you will appreciate once you discover this. Okay, and you will. It's, it's something specific to you. Can I get, yep, look at that. Libra energy. This is karma. This is karmic justice, <clears throat> and this is what you're receiving as far as career is concerned. You need to use your intuition. This is what this is reiterating again. Wait a minute. There's a card that flipped over. Yep. This is destined for you. This is fated. Okay? You could be dealing with a fixed energy in business, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Yep, go within. Go within. Virgo energy. Because once you go within, you will definitely find whatever this this dream is. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Think about when you were six years old. If you can remember that far back, because that's what they're saying. What is it at six years old? And it, and it uh, you're going to have to connect these dots. I feel like there's dots that needs to be connected. And it will all start with when you were six years old. Okay? Also, look at ten years old. Let's see. Yep. You remember being excited about something, right? Uh, being excited to start an adventure. Okay, they just said playtime. Like, what did you do in playtime? There's something about that. Something inventive. Something um, utilizing. It, it was like practicality mixed with uh, creative imagine, it, imagination. Okay. All right, one more card, the emperor. Yeah, this is your rise. This is your rise, Aquarius, okay? So you have what it takes. You just gotta connect the dots and you will get there and you'll achieve your goals. You'll achieve your childhood dream, okay? Strength. So stand up and rise, Aquarius. Leo energy. 
That's having the confidence to go forward with this. Okay? Even if it seems a little bit different out of the ordinary, they just said. All right, Aquarius, I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information can be found in the description box below. Have a good one, Aquarius. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.